Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and uh, in this Laravel video tutorial we will learn about the file and folder structure of the Laravel, right? So in the last video we installed the Laravel project and these are the files and folder of the that project. So we will discuss about the every folder and uh, main files. Keep in mind that at a beginner level this is not necessary that uh, we have to know about the each and every file and each and every folder of the Laravel right there is some files if you just know about these file and folder then that's great like uh, where we have to write the HTML code model controller routing file storage config and database if you know about these folders and you know that what kind of code we will write in this folder then that's great otherwise this is not necessary that you need to know the every file and every folder to start with the Laravel right there's a nothing like that so we will focus or especially on these folders but we will discuss about the every file right so first of all let's discuss about the app directory so app directory is basically responsible for your core code of your application like uh, uh, model controller and middleware right so let's uh, look out these all folders in the console uh, folder there is a kernel.php here we will write our uh, custom commands right you know that in the uh, Laravel we can use the lots of command like for the uh, start the project we use the PHP artisan serve right and the lots of command for there like making controller for the database and uh, making auth and lots of things right we will discuss these things in the upcoming video so but still sometime we need some extra command so that we can just make our manual commands here right so after that uh, there is an exception folder and this is used basically used for handling the exceptions even at the fresher level we don't work with these folders right then HTTP which is uh, very important for the freshers or beginners in the controllers we will just write our, our controllers controllers that mean simply means uh, it will just make an interface between database and our HTML right then middleware it will just filter out the request like authentications encryption kind of things like sometime redirection uh, yes this is also used by the freshers then kernel in the all middleware are registered in the kernel like then uh, let's look out the models here we will just uh, put the files that are related to the database connection like models like uh, user dot uh, php file will connect our database with the users uh, table right then providers this folder is still not used uh, by the uh, beginners but here we'll just write the authentication services and routing services and all sometime we just add here manual or uh, custom services also right then uh, bootstrap bootstrap uh, basically there is uh, only one main file which is app.js and uh, we never make a kind any kind of change in this file and this will just load our application in the browser or you can say that this is uh, uh, this file is uh, responsible for the bootstrapping our application right uh, cache folder will take the cache like uh, when we just use some files or uh, uh, you can say that some code for the cache that will just uh, provided here and uh, when we are uh, just uh, using our project more and more the cache will be automatically fill up here right then configuration and this folder is uh, very much uh, useful for the freshers because we do any kind of configuration here like database configuration is important for the freshers session configurations and uh, sometimes email configurations kind of things right so all configurations are present here then database database is again uh, useful for the fresher and uh, here we write the factories migration and seeding seedings um, simply means uh, putting the fake data migration means uh, uh, migrate the table from one uh, database to another database when we are uh, uh, using the database by many developers then uh, uh, one database want to share the database the uh, uh, another developer then we use the uh, migration for that purpose right then the public folder there is only one important file which is php uh, index.php and this is the first file sometimes this question is asked in the interview also uh, this is the first file that we that is uh, actually load first uh, from the, our application right so when we just uh, load the laravel application the first file which is in, uh, loaded by the browser which is the index.php right 
then resource uh, folder is uh, there is uh, have uh, there we put here the like the uh, public files of uh, css images uh, javascript and sometime local file also and uh, in the view we basically put our our complete html right here you can see that laravel is wonderful for documentation kind of things and these are mentioned here so all html pages will be placed inside the view even we can just make the nested folder also routes folder is uh, responsible for the making the routes url for the web as well as the api store is is basically used for uh, storing the files vendor is basically uh, have the dependency which is loaded by the package.json or sometime custom dependency also environment file is uh, defined the database uh, credentials and all, all other credentials like uh, radish you can see that the mailer and sometime we use the some other credentials also like aws here you can see that all right these kind of things right then artisan this this is basically used for uh, the command line package.json which is very important and the all configuration all detail of our application all dependencies all packages are mentioned here php uh, okay so just go for uh, one more folder which is test so here we are uh, write the unit test cases with the end to end and the unit test cases both kind of test cases right uh, then a package.json file uh, basically this is not useful when we are just developing the apis but when we use any front end framework or library like react view or angular then this is a uh, useful right and uh, php unit is uh, helpful for the write the unit test cases readme in the readme file we just uh, we can just describe our project like what is that project why we use and sometimes we just describe the function and classes also right that how we can start our project and all kind of stuff right so server.php is basically used for uh, 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 rewrite the some functionality of the apache server or sometimes the other services also uh, web package dot uh, web dot .js is again uh, useful for the making the bundling of the uh, public file and uh, this is only useful when we are uh, just using uh, uh, front end framework like again like view and uh, react just kind of things like so uh, now let's talk about my interview question of this video so uh, the interview question is that okay so we know that in the package.json we can define the old dependencies but let's say we just want to make any change of our, uh, the version of any package that how we can do it and what command we need to run after making any change in the package.json so you can just comment me the answer and if you don't want to comment then don't that that's okay there is a no issue you just uh, get to know about this if you know then that's great if you don't know then ju you just read about it because this is an important question for the interviews right so bye bye take care and please don't forget to subscribe my channel